thing. Alright. <clears throat> New testing ground. AI. 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 Who is my rival? Must be a command to remove that, right? U4 cancel command. Rifle. Move rifle. Oh. Tag ESG. Cash minus hundred. Tag help. Cash minus. Oh right, yeah. Tag is Okay, so setup is put correctly. Don't want this to be playing in the background. All right, let's do this, because why not? Let's go to the other one as well, tag ESG. Tag health, now we do event test dot one. Yes, please. Gonna lag. It's all hell. Maria, get the fever. Maria. All right. Well, that actually went relatively fast, if it worked. Good, nice. Good, let's put good units. Drill infantry, the Lancers, and the battery. Now they're attack ESG. Okay, that was pretty fast as well. Maria. All right, drill, lancers, and flying battery. Okay. We got way too many of those. Kill one of them. Kill the other one. This one goes there. Perfect. Making money. Save man. Power. Five hundred. Power. Five hundred. Yeah. Tag hell. Same thing for them. Okay. 
Okay, I think pretty much things are set up. Right, that's pretty much it. Create an army, huh? <laughs> Alright, that's fine though. We have enough men for now. So we're gonna do cannons test setup. So the first thing I want to test, oh yeah, and I need to put combat dice zero. This as well. All right, we're at maximum. And we're at war. Perfect. Don't you know we're at war? All right. Cannon to set up, but we're not going to test your cannons first. We're going to, where's my pen? What? where I wrote all my conclusions, wrote, wrote some of my results. Um, so first thing I'm going to test is, where the fuck is the pen? The fall? Here, yeah, it's here. All right, first thing to test is infantry combat ability versus shock and fire damage. All right, so event test dot two for 10% fire. Fire okay. Actually, don't have a shock one, right? No. Okay, that's too bad. I'll just do first test infantry on the other one, which is 12. Tag ESG event test dot 12. Okay, so it's everything is the same. No advisor, no policies. Good. Tag hell. Everything 100% the same. So here we have 10% fire damage, but we don't have 10% infantry combat. Now, remember, it was 560, the normal one. AI, AI. First. And one maneuver, okay. Just to make sure. 600, 600. Okay, so it's exactly the same. 560, so it goes to the downward cycle afterwards. Of course, here he takes more. That's the same. So it's exactly the same. But still, it should have been 620 and not. Six hundred or six. It should actually have been six hundred forty if round down at the end. But even though calculations still seem a bit off when adding damage, combat ability is equal to increased damage. So it looks like, right? 
So, we're going to do the same test, but with nine. Do the same test, but with nine as combat dice. Right, but so first test suggests of the day suggests that indeed it confirms that combat ability and uh, increased damage they act at the same level of the equation on the top bar and they are both like multiplication by one dot whatever you have as a modifier. So now we do combat dice. Nine event test dot two. We go to tag ESG event test dot twelve. Tag hell AI AI. This time it should be like two thousand. 420 or no, two, two, five, eight, zero should be a two, five, two, zero. That's fine. And two, five, two, zero. Okay. But it's the same. Uh, it's the same two times. Oh, the third one was different. The third one was fucking different though. So two, actually there's a difference. How the fuck is there a different? 10% fire outperforms or 10% damage outperforms 10% CA slightly at 9 dice. That makes no fucking sense. It's what? Like nothing is different, right? Yeah, I have more men. How? Why? Is there a single one that doesn't have 820? No. Everyone is shooting exactly in front of them. That makes sense. Of course, here they're going to take way more damage because we don't have. Now we're back to dealing the same. We're still very close. This time we took more. But that should be because we lost more men. Simply put. Right, it makes sense that we take more damage. Okay. Fine. So, uh, I don't understand. That's extremely weird. Makes no sense. Since it does not make... Whatever, this is how it is. Now we're going to start doing some cannon testing. Same damage, everything the same, but now we're going to have 40 cannons on the front line as well, or in the back line. And we're going to test it at 0, and we're going to test it at 9. So actually, it just no makes no fucking sense at all. Let's get their cannons. Tag ISG. Let's get their cannons. Tag hell combat dice zero AI AI. We'll save. It now starts our cannon test. Cannon test at Zero dice. Uh, 
All right. So you should be cannon test. Okay. We'll see how much more damage we deal from 560. 300! 320? So it's as if we had minus one. It's like cannons are not dealing damage. What? Three hundred twenty. We added two pips. So three hundred twenty. That's the damage you deal with inf for the infantry against for the infantry if you're fighting at minus one terrain penalty. Is actually reduced to under the minimum. So defensive cannon pips reduce to under fifteen base casualties. Right? So what happening is We have our two defensive pips being added. There's nothing to counteract, so now we're hitting with minus two pip disadvantage. So, okay, we're hitting with minus two pip disadvantage. So, I'm going to do the calculation to see if it's correct. So, we have base casualty equals. 15, but minus 10 for units pips. Right. So it's 5. So we got 5 times 3.1.1.1. Dot one, dot one, dot one, dot one, divided by 3.5 for infantry. And we have 5 times... Eight point four times one point one times zero point five divided by three point five equals for the cannons. All right, five times three point one times one point one nine point two divided by three point five. So that would be a 2. Okay, so that would be 80 for infantry. And then we have 5.8.4, 1 1.1, 0, divided by 2, divided by 3.5. That would be a six, six times 40, 240, which comes exactly at 80. So that's 320 exact, or it's 320 exact. So actually, so defensive unit pips can reduce just like terrain pips, unlike leader pips to under base casualties. And so everyone is hitting exactly as expected. So equation works for cannons. That's really interesting. All right. The same also the... Everything is reduced, yeah. 
is going to be minimum for a really fucking long time. You don't know this, uh, like, increase and decrease cycles because it's under the threshold where it could actually be witnessed. All right. Okay, so it does make sense, 320. Do we still have our infantry on the front line? Yeah, definitely. So Moro runs out like very quickly. So actually we're dealing so much less damage with the cannons because of their defensive pips <laughs> applying to the front line. Interesting. Okay, now we're going to compare uh, 20 percent we're gonna add 20 percent back row damage same battle uh, we know we're gonna do the test but with nine dices see if we can notice a constant reduction pattern All right. This time with nine. This is also going to show you why a Vanguard needs to be above 80. All right, four, four, eight. So a lot more damage. You can see the difference between throwing a zero and a nine is absolutely massive. We don't even have actually our our artillery combat and our infantry combat, which we need to have, and our discipline. Then you would need discipline here, but it's, it's just gonna tag ESG. And our infantry. Total damage actually much higher. Tag hell and then AI AI. All right. So yeah, way higher. Four eight. So nine dice is four eight eight zero. First round. Four six, we're already reducing damage. But yeah, as you can see, equal moral. Everything is equal. We're just throwing nine. We threw two nine. So it's not this unlikely, because the shock damage doesn't really matter. We threw one nine, and the battle is over. On the six, oh, one more, I guess. No, two more. Well, we're at zero. So if if, if either army could have been shattered, it would have been shattered. Now we're just gonna fight to death. It looks like we're gonna fight until one of can can retreat. No. I took somehow. I took artillery before, and this time I actually lost. I actually lost the the battle. Maybe it's because their stack is not together and mine is. But whatever. Very interesting. Um, so yeah. This is why you need more than 80 in your Vanguard. Because a couple of bad dice is as in a couple of good dice for your opponent, and your vanguard is white. Okay. Okay.
Now we're gonna do the same test with Sierra Combat Dice. 20% artillery extra damage, so it should be 40%. A bit more because I have combat efficiency, actually. I will see about that. AI, AI, event, test, dot, which one is it for artillery? Back row is 11. Artillery damage from back row, and we do combat, dice, 9. Okay. Okay. So it's 520 extra. Oh, I should have done it at zero. Yeah, let me restart. Should have done it at zero. <laughs> Alright, second question is, how big does the Vanguard need to be? Combat dice. See. AI, AI. Okay, I do have this modifier, don't I? Yeah, I do, but it's not adding any damage because we're at the minimum. So it's just not adding anything. We'll see, we'll see if later on. You definitely saw it was effective. But because we're, it's so wonky because we're at the minimum, everything is still the same. Same, 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 same. We haven't dealt any more damage. You could see at 9, the damage is very different. So so basically, tests at 0 are worthless. Because of how wonky it is. So tests should always be 7. All tests... To be done at five or above. Things are not working as intended because of the weird weirding up or down. Okay. Now, now we do AI AI. We make a template. Wait, I don't have that feature. So I'm going to do a standard... All right. Okay.
I'm gonna do the standard. Standard uh, Vanguard, which is double combat with on the front line, and see if I get wiped or not. Okay. So damage should be exactly the same at nine, so four, eight, eight, zero, something. Yeah. Uh we actually increased some stuff so five zero zero eight. Okay. My moral dropped heavily compared to his. So moral of both troops is about equal. So the backline troops are not dealing more moral damage. So that's important. So non-participant units. Are not dealing. Moral casualties. There we go. Same. Yeah. <clears throat> the real question is are we going to get wiped with the double vanguard? 3 April. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, no wipe, no wipe at double. But this is with equal moral. So Ceteris thing, blah, 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 everything equal. If everything is equal, double is sufficient. I'm going to see if with 80 this is true as well. Uh, with 60 men on the front line. So... 120, sufficient vanguard, if things are equal. 80, clearly insufficient, because you were wiped at 6 days, about, or at like 7 days. Combat dot nine tag hell AI AI. Okay. So we're barely going to make it at nine. Barely make it with hundred. Uh, so 
the, the Vanguard barely makes it. It 12 days with 60 front line. and nine dices and everything equal so good Now we're going to do this other test. <laughs> By reinforcing appropriately, how many troops do I actually, like how many less troops do I need than my opponent if he's just front lightning like a dumbass? Oh, no, no, no. We're first going to do an even different test. 415, uh, SG, 394, this guy takes discipline, we do everything the same. Combat dice five for a regular tag L. And here we need a moral guy. We don't have one. Uh, I can do land moral event test. Test dot eight. Tag ESG Discipline five for him, please. Test dot six. So it's ten percent. Discipline difference for 20% moral difference. If we just bomb rush like morons, who comes ahead? Uh, 394. AI, AI. Are we at maximum? Where? <laughs> okay. Just, you never know that this switches something. Tag. Hell, AI, AI. So who wins? I have, he has 10% more discipline. I have 10%, 20% more moral. Right? Yeah. Everything is similar, but 10% discipline difference, 20% moral difference. All the rest is the same. Discipline's gonna win. Yeah, discipline does win out. Very late game. Alright. Now we're gonna do the cyclones. This is at five. 
a combat dice 5. But yeah, that makes no difference. So yeah. Discipline better than moral for winning battles, which is surprising. Ever so slightly, and of course you deal more casualty. Attack ESG. Okay. Uh, nope. Let's take thing. And then go to tag. Uh, Hell, let's take our own stuff. Okay. So just to make sure, I'm gonna do a double vanguard. It's not necessary, but you never like. It's not that you never know. I do know. I just want to be lazy. I'm gonna be very lazy. Make stacks of forty-seven, even though that's terrible. Nah, fuck it. Uh, seems good enough, right? So we have classical vanguard, double CV. It's gonna bum rush in. And afterwards, we're gonna put all our guys. On force march and try and reinforce as best we can. Test reinforce. And look at how less men we need to fight. Everything else is equal. It's just the moral, like, we're gonna have a moral advantage. So I have 12 days. 15, it takes 10 days to arrive. Okay. Oh, jeez. Fine. All right, nothing but that changed. So I'll just put myself the advisor. When does he arrive? When TF? Okay. Like that first fire hit is so devastating. I am a reinforce now. Wait, one more day. Yeah, reinforce now. So we're gonna do this like. 
absolutely perfectly. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Too close for comfort. Every 10 days. Oh, jeez. Okay, that doesn't even work. So at 9, there's really no time to reinforce. <coughs> so we got like... S Seven days to reinforce at night. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm not going to be this greedy this time. Just, no, wait, a little bit. All right, two. On 2 April. So I'm going to send him now to so 3 1. 11. Send them now. Seven. That's eighteen. Oh my God! Really? Ah! Jesus fucking Christ! All right, let's not cut it this close. Let's not cut it that close. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, 20, this guy at 16. This guy at 25. Oh, geez. Okay. This guy here. This guy now. Like, am I not even gonna win the battle? I have to win. Everything else is equal, right? Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? I'm losing the battle! Oh, I lost some cannons. Yeah, that's because we're at the... They're in my first rank. We just lost them. What? We 
lose the battle. We lose the battle. How? Why? No. Just clumping is more effective? That makes no fucking sense. I, I saw that the back row was not dealing more damage. I saw it. And still, I lose. That's not fucking right. Maybe I reinforced too greedily and got some cannons uh, at some points onto the the front line. So now I'm gonna take six days before. I just no way, no way. That's not possible. What the hell? Jesus Christ. All right, AI, AI, combat, dice, nine. Okay. You go now. 26, 21. Twenty six, twenty one. First April sixth. Bit too late there, but that's fine. Fifteen. Like all our cannons are still active. Good. Hmm. Twenty one, so at sixteen. Twenty seven. All our cannons are still in. I do it here, one extra. Cannons are all still there. Seven now. Cannons are all still there. Cannons are all still there. Oh jeez, did I send my 15 in? Okay. Like this. Alright, make no sense that we would lose. We are going to lose! Perfect reinforcement! We take no damage on our cannons and we lose the fight just clumping up, they win! Why? I guess they switched out way earlier than we did. No, they didn't even switch out way earlier than we did. What's up? Confirm! Confirm! Just clumping is more effective!
No, like all fucking conventional wisdom is gone. Like this is game mechanics. This is not how it should work. What? What makes no sense? How? It's impossible. Everything was equal. Did I miss like a uh, a policy? No. I so scratch that! I was gonna say all this fancy shit about the vanguard, but no, just clump up and attack! What? What the hell? Never mind fancy shit, it's just clumping up and attacking. Just clumping up and attacking is the way to go. That is a problem. This is a problem. This is not how it's supposed to be. This is not how it's supposed to be. What the fuck? Alright. Jesus Christ, that's really dumb. Alright, well. Let's get back to the cannon tests. 20% extra damage from back row should just be the same as... Dot, what is it? Elf and ten. So there's a five from them. Tag. Eleven. E I E I.
So I have a shit ton of artillery combat that he has, so he should win because his. But we'll see. If I had plus another. No. Wait, what? I'm dealing more damage? What? No! I'm clearly dealing more damage. <sighs> Jesus Christ, game. What are you doing? Alright, so... 13... 40%... CA... Superior to 20% back row. So it's literally a multiply by 1.2 modifier. It's not an increase from 50% to 70%, as you can see. I lose? I lose the battle? Superior casualties. So, like, I should 100% have one there. Hundred fucking percent have one. But then again, look at this here. Here I lose, so I've and I won every time. Every fight that was equal, I won every single time. Every single time. But All right, now we do, so combat dice five, test dot two, 10% fire, tag ESG, event test dot well, 10% infantry and 10% artillery. Okay, and now we do tag hell. So that should be exactly the same. I have 10% fire. It's the same. So what was our conclusion last time? Which one was better?
Where was it today? I had 10% damage outperformed 10% CA at the third tick. Again, it outperformed it by one. So somehow, fifteen ten percent damage. Ten percent CA in slash cannons by forty casualties. Okay. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? So test or event test dot tree ten percent reduction and then tag is G and that's dot twelve ten percent combat and ten percent artillery tag Hell, AI, AI, combat, die, five. I want to re-see everything I tested out. Here, all of that is correct, all of that is correct. Yeah, all of that is correct. All right, reduction again outperforms at five as well. But I still lose. Oh, yeah, yeah, but here, yeah. No, I don't mix it. Wait, uh, which one did I lose? Yeah, with the artillery. See, A, this battle. Uh, this one is not surprising, but it looks absolutely random. Now we're going to do some cool stuff.
Okay. Now we're going to do the cavalry and flanking test. But yeah, it just seems that units always shoot the ones in front of them. So flanking just doesn't seem to do anything in the combat fight. I'm gonna force perfect as great as you can be. Mm -hmm. All right, so now on to the cavalry test.
test of one. Entry combat, discipline, moral, moral, and artillery. And of course, nothing here. Attack hell. Drill, lancers, manpower, a thousand. Attack is chi and power attack help. Let's do combat dice five for now. So, who is going to win, you think? Oh, jeez. I have to reload already. I forgot to put the AI. <coughs> so, 25, 50, 40 versus Infantry, regular infantry, everything's equal. Combat dies five AI AI. All right. I fucking said AI. Ah. Oh.
combat dice five AI here. Good. We do calf tests. Who is going to win, I wonder? He takes more damage. He takes more damage, but I take more moral damage. Everything else is equal, right? Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, no, of course not. Everything else is not equal. I don't have policy on. <laughs> but he already takes more damage, fire phase, that makes sense. Difference not that massive at combat dice 5, so my, maybe he'll actually outperform my infantry. Uh, that would be interesting, despite my infantry bonus. Right, but I don't know, I'm already outperforming him. Even without anything going on. Perfect. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm dealing way more fire damage. Just way more. Everything is equal this time. Pretty sick, so that's fine. Massively more. Let's see now. He does that before me here. But it's not enough to recuperate. So with absolutely no bonuses, infantry definitely outperforms the cavalry. Quite a bit. So 17 infantry outperforms cavalry. 32 without Cav C A. Now the other thing to note is that Western have by far the best cavalry in terms of their unit pips. By far, if you look at this. Like those are the best distributed cavalry pips in the game. Because they have six inoffensive shock. They even even have Cavalry bonus, I don't think so. Hmm. Do I have a cavalry bonus to test out? No, I have flanking to test out. The flanking is not going to change anything about. No, yeah, well, I know flanking is not going to change anything. Alright.
boosted mod test events. Yeah, there's not gonna be cavalry CA, huh? Nope. Any way to buff cavalry? Uh, maybe if it were both 30%, they would actually outperform the infantry. Could be. Maybe there's like an event in the fucking game. Really? Not a single one that gives cavalry power? That's absurd. Right, right. Of course not. Uh, not in common here. Event modifiers. ID groups seven per team. Tag ESG. What are they? Seven per team. Okay, that's plus five. Tartar feudatory. Russian Principality event. Okay, now we got 20 and I need 10 extra. Ah. Russia. Okay, Mamla. Mm. 
Memlock event dot twelve and ten. Damn. Now we got thirty percent. Good. Tag in our L AI AI combat. So this time it's against cavalry, but they both have thirty percent combat ability. So my guys definitely outperform. Oh jeez. Now the results are completely fucked up. Good. So everything equal 30% for both. And dices are the same. So fire out performance to be expected. Their stuff outperforms ours. It'll be close. So casualties wise, our thing outperforms. It's only because our thing is first. We're gonna lose the battle, maybe. Yeah, we lose the battle somehow. But I don't think that's actually linked to anything. So Western Cavalry at same vintage infantry CA is equal at best or worse. Than infantry. This equal CA. So you could see that basically infantry equal CA outperforms cavalry. And this is with same with a zero zero general. Because typically you're gonna have a general that's much better fired than shot. So there's just no competition whatsoever they can. Okay. So now I should do assault tests. I did Vanguard tests. I should now do assault tests, yeah.
cavalry just flanking just doesn't do. People just shoot the unit in front of them. Well, we're going to do some assault tests now. Let's delete that. Perfect. Alright. Thousand uh, ESG manpower five thousand. Root move arrival. Help. Okay. Tag help. AI combat dice. No. Event test dot one.
ladder. So oh. <laughs> Okay. Seeing console come in, level eight worth.
Okay. All right, so test is just to see dices. Zero, zero, zero. Ah, uh, it's... All right, so test number one is does do dices impact assault? So combat dices dice five. Or I'm gonna say zero just to make it very extreme. Twenty. Oh my god. Or are these the same dices, right? Like, what? Okay, so we're going to put combat dice at zero, test it at dice zero. Perfect. Four hundred twelve. We put zero dices. Now we're gonna look. Equals zero. Four hundred and twelve. We just lost twelve men. He lost three hundred. Here's this three hundred, okay. Eleven versus three hundred. Ten, ten, three hundred ten. 310, 310, or 9, 
going slightly down nine. Continuously same amount damage being dealt, damage being taken. Combat dice is zero. Troops are dealing less and less damage. So in total, we lost a ridiculous 130. 130 lost. Okay. Now we do the same, but with dice at nine. Eight September. Perfect. So everything is the same, but this time dices are 10. All right, 9. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit, we took 50. So dices impact assaults at nine we lost ridiculous we actually lost like 170 so we started with 412 35 47 47 versus 1600s Nine. So it was much faster, but it looks like it was about the same. We lost hundred seventy. Similar casualty. Similar casualty. Okay, that's thing number one. Test number two is going to be consolidating. With combat dice, I'm going to put it at 6 or 5. I'm going to just put it at 5. Every day consolidate. Combat dice at 5. Consolidate, consolidate, 
Let's validate. Let's validate. Let's validate. Let's validate. Let's validate. Let's validate. Consolidate. So with six eighteen. Definitely took less damage. So consolidate does work. So it seems like it's just regular battle. Now I'm just going to increase fire damage and maneuver on my general. This time everything is the same, but we have a better general. Okay. Better sea general. Looks like it was 270, so that also seems. Siege helps. 270. Now we're going to put our big man, the top dog. Okay, well, lost slightly, but shouldn't be that big of an impact. Now we're just going to do it with other pips. Way more, that fixed, expected. No. So that changed nothing. Might have actually changed something. Oh no, we regenerate a lot more because we have this guy. The reinforcement rate was much higher. So other pips don't matter. That's intriguing. Tempted to see the massacre.
guy. All right, well, assaulting, yeah. So it seems to be about each pit. Seems to be about each pips. Uh, consolidating siege ability. Let's increase my siege ability now. See if that makes a difference. Anyways, to increase, yeah, I should have one, right? Siege ability plus 10%. Okay. Now we do the assault. So we lost a hundred ten. So twenty three siege ability matters. Okay. What if we add this up? So we needed about 170 mana, so we're going to try with 170 afterwards. Okay, now... Uh, event test set. 10% extra discipline. AI, AI, combat... Dice... Uh, Combat die five. Two hundred forty nine. So discipline doesn't seem to matter, does it? So yeah, it looks like other pips and discipline, they don't actually help. It's all about siege, siege ability and defensive. Last thing we're going to test is if we remove and only keep 170 men. So now we're going to do the reinforcement. Reinforced. What? But yeah, you can take up to like 40k damage per hit if there is a nine throne. All right.
So yeah. So yeah, we lost basically squat this time. So how much are we reinforcing? Twelve thousand a month, so minus twelve thousand. We had hundred seventy. Hundred fifteen. We had hundred basically, so we lost eighty. Five. Damage lost is proportional to army. Okay. So for farmlands, zero. How many needed on average? Enough troops again. So we lost half. Ninety three. So I lost forty. So in farmlands on average, you probably need 40. Forty, then reinforce. Now we're gonna test on the woods. If we can't reciprocate but yeah, if you throw a 9 though, bad news. Alright, let's see if you throw 9 with 40, what happens on the farmers. Of course, people should run the Steed Edict, giving them 33% extra, so you probably need to run a Vanguard.
So combat dice to nine and tag L. Realistically, you should have defense. Tag ESG. So it's plus 33 defense. How much and on nine? Like, is this enough of a vanguard with zero zero? Nowadays, okay. Seventy three. So we lost more, but it was enough. How much did we have here? All right. So we can definitely afford to lose more with 33. So in reality, we lost like double. We lost 60, we lost double. We can definitely... 27, worst case scenario. Bring 70 infantry on farmlands. Worst case scenario, 70 infantry does the job on farmlands. All right. Now we got to do <coughs> the Wits Assault. Now we got to do the Wits Assault. So we had half of this with 93 men. We're going to do the same with 93 men. Put defensive on Lorraine. Okay. We need to see your zero zero leader, leader zero zero. So this time it's woods. Everything is same, but it's woods. Right? What? Only lost 30? How? Didn't even lose 30, it lost 20. That makes no fucking sense. This does it not have fourth level plus eight? Okay, 
I have the same general. He has defensive edict, he has 10, he has everything he, as he should be. Combat, dice, 9. AI, AI. And let's assault. Okay. We lost 60. No, no, so we lost the same amount. Yeah, yeah, we lost the same amount. We lost 60. Yeah, okay. You know, it's exactly 60 men. So what makes no difference, it looks like? They're very little. Well, mountains are going to make a difference, right? Because they're going to increase defensiveness. Yeah, heals. And mountains have plus 25. Okay. So, woods and forts, very easy to assault. 